All right, everyone, it's the Grim Lord here, and this is Grim's Comic Corner. I'm doing Blade Runner 2019 from Titan Comics. So here we go. Los Angeles, Blade Runner 2019. Dedicated to the memory of Rutger Hauer, who played Roy Batty in the original Blade Runner movie and who died on July 19th of 2019. It's true to say he saw things that we people wouldn't believe. Written by Michael Green and Mike Johnson. Art by Andres Guanado and colors by Marco Lesko. A lettering by Jim Campbell. Okay. Early in the 21st century, the Tyrell Corporation advanced robot evolution to the Nexus phase, creating artificial beings virtually identical to humans known as replicants. Superior in strength and agility, the replicants function primarily as an off-world slave labor or in hazardous high collateral combat situations. After replicants were declared illegal on Earth, special police operatives called Blade Runners had orders to kill or retire any trespassers upon detection. Detective Ana Ashina of the Los Angeles Police Department was one of the first to qualify for the assignment. Her colleagues called her Ash. She was the best of them. Los Angeles, 2019. Lungs, 25 each. Kidneys, maybe 30. Heart, you'd think would be more, but I'll be lucky to get to 15. But your eyes, those corneas, I could retire on those wonders. I can't feel my legs. Drank? I wasn't going to win that fight fairly, Benny. And you don't need legs. Not anymore. Just take me in. You are in, Benny. This is in. I have a coroner, pal. Has a thing for dissecting awake things. Takes his time. You can't do that. You wouldn't. You killed five people, Benny. Actual people. It's mercy just giving you a choice now. I deliver you to my pal as is, or you use that blade first. I want to see what you choose. I want to see if they gave you the gall. My parts won't last. Built not to. Not selling for transplants. Collector's market. My name is Benjamin. I got gall. Not much. Oh, man. God damn it, Benny. Didn't think you had it in you. Didn't think they put it in you. Urchins. Off. Need pickup and delivery. And a cleanup. Tell them my cut comes in cash in today. Hold on. Tell them my cut comes in cash and today. I really could have used those eyeballs, Benny. You were my last for now. Skin job's getting scarce. Maybe world's finally getting around. Escape to the colonies. Earth is no haven anymore. Good for the peace. Bad for the livelihood. Come inside. God doesn't want his creatures outside in this heat. God forgot these creatures a long time ago. And you know I don't like the office. Because they talk about you. They wonder why you never fly your spinner. They wonder why you never take your coat off. Who's my next job? Wo Wosiek? Hmm. You done the job too good, Ash. The jungle's gone quiet. Could be for the foreseeable. But there's something while you wait. Missing persons. I'll wait. No request from on high. Boss is doing the polite bidding on Alexander Selwyn. Don't know him. Canaan Corporation. Ah, know him. Feeding the future and making trillions serving crap to the unwashed. Passably nutritious crap. Somebody's got to fill the mouse on the ground. His wife and daughter went missing yesterday. Kid is four. This is a big one, Ash. Selwyn's made significant civic contributions over the years. Civic contributions, huh? You get any of that? Give it to someone angling to impress. Can't do that. He wants a meet in Santa Barbara with you. How would he know me? He asked for one of our best. I've covered you for I've covered for you a long time, Ash. You know I'm not just talking about anatomical pursuits. Everyone's entitled to their cut. But you don't get to say no to this. Always did want to see the archipelago. Have to fly to make the meet on time.
prefer to keep my wheels on the ground. Nice view up here, but you don't really see anything. Not like on the ground, in the crowd. And you can try to escape the crush outside the cities if exposure and, private and privation are bearable. The, ri the rest keep rising higher, off-world nirvanas. Or you do what they did in Santa Barbara, build Nirvana planet side. Dig up the earth and flood it, create sea lock estates for the blessed. That small, unpolluted sea on a clear breeze. I try not to retch. The real oak has a different shine. Hold on. House is an artifact from another century. Selwyn's got the means. That real oak has a different shine. Good evening, Detective Ashina. Please join me on the terrace. He belongs to my daughter, Cleo. I had it made for her last birthday. He's lonely since Cleo's been missing. Follows me around. Thank you for coming. Choice wasn't mine. No, my wife and daughter are missing, Detective. I don't need a corrupt department lifer. I need an honest hunter. I made inquiries. Your skills border on preternatural. Enhanced? No, and not usually for hire either. Yes, honest. Yesterday, my wife Isabel took Cleo to attend the birthday party of young Lydia Tyrell. We know they departed the party just after supper. They have not been seen nor heard from since. Neither has the chauffeur. I am not a man given to avert displays of emotion, detective, but here we are. Any reason why your wife would run? Every marriage has challenges. I believed ours minor. I... Could she have kidnapped your daughter? No. Cleo is the son at our live center. The chauffeur? Arkady is much more than a driver. He's been with us for years. A devoted friend and Isabel's preferred bodyguard. Why not broadcast wide? Press deluge. Add on eyeballs. Missing child invites sympathy. And invites enemies. There are men who would pay all they have to see me suffer. And women. I know every parent believes their child is special detective. But my daughter is truly exceptional in ways that few can appreciate. Please find her. Selwyn gives me what details he can. I don't think he made his family disappear. Usually a perfect home life indicates the opposite, but when he talked about his family, something rippled true. A sweep of the family's quarters and the chauffeur's suite gave me nothing. No sign of the wife's spinner or the city's grids. Didn't think there would be. It's never that easy. First stop, the Tyrell girl's house and family. Nothing was amiss at the party, but I learned Miss Selwyn was a homebody. Trip to the city was a rare thing. First in months. Used to model... Culture. Bright future. They remember her. Then she met Selwyn and went away. These regular tracks I follow dry up quick. The car's the thing. Find it, find them. So I go down where I belong, among my tribes. Others in my job, they get their dirt by paying out. By force, or threat of. I get mine because they know me. They're all on the ground, too. Somebody's selling fresh spinner parts, bespoke. Slick spinner, rich wife, cute kid. Somebody must have heard something. Parts found by the river environs. Urchin born, me. They smell it still, my key unlocking. Word of a crash near the viaduct. Only the desperate and the soon deceased play in the river. A crowd means a fresh kill. Car's a match. So's Arcady. Homicide means this opens up. Department will want to take a look. I can't hide it. There goes Selwyn's discretion. Ah! Yeah! Just need to stay confident long enough to call it in. South of the viaduct. You'll know when you see it. But I won't be there. Sorry, Wojciech. The old itch is flaring. I'll check in after dawn. If I'm lucky, I'll make it home. Never been lucky. Already late. Keep moving anyway. And find a smile for her. I pray he's still waiting. I don't know who I'm praying to. One second, he said. Come on, honey, almost there. One second late, and the door shuts. Keep moving. Three meters. Might even make it. God damn it, Benny. Those eyes would have paid out. Scratching this itch doesn't come cheap. Still carrying surgery debt. They could shut me off remotely anytime they want. Then everyone would know. Why don't you take your coat off, detective? Can't be a runner if you can't run. Or maybe Wojciech doesn't cover for me this time. Maybe this time she tells the bosses her best bet won't pass the physical. 
and no one finds that kid. Four years old. Late. More than a second. Mommy, can we go home now? Soon, Cleo. You're being so good. I just need you to be good for a little longer. The door. Shut. He's gone. And these are not his friends. You need help? Get the kid. Mommy, Cleo, close your eyes. Oh, shit. Okay. Took them out. Mommy, I'm sorry, baby, I'm sorry. You were late, so I came looking. Uh, Malik? Yes. The door. Time is not our ally. Come. Cracks open. Just enough. We slip through. Mama's hand is freezing. I'm not holding her hand for my comfort. She's holding mine for hers. The day they found out my spine didn't work. The last memory I have of my mother is her crying, like she was the child. She left that night. My nanny told me Mama didn't leave because I was sick. She left to make our lives better, to send money back. Nanny told me I was too old to go, they said. I was too young. Off-world is for the wealthy and the healthy. I stopped being angry a long time ago. You can go. You go. And me, I'm right where I belong. Warrants are for the uninformed. Tex at HQ salvaged a data log from the spinner we found on 3rd Street. The last call made was to, the, was to this place, your dime dozen chop shop. Not the kind of place that caters to the Isabel Selwyns of the city. Just don't take the biopsy puncher. Sentimental value. Detective Ashina, your lock broke. Has that tendency, usually they just pillage the till. Working late? Office is home. You got a call last night. I'm looking for the caller. Lady named Isabel. Cops right to it. Innocent or clever, this one. Wanted the right for a birthmark consult. Uh, birthmark consult. Short conversation. She trouble? That your concern? Means I gotta buy a bigger lock? Sure. She calls you back? You call me next. How long you been wearing a brace, detective? She said she was on her way home, for what it's worth. Good luck with your till. I hope my daughter never wakes up. It's a terrible thought. But when she's asleep, she's not afraid. When she's asleep, I don't have to lie to her. Everything will be okay, Cleo. We're just going on a little adventure. Daddy's coming soon. We're here, Miss Selwyn. This is where the skin wanted me to bring you. Just Isabel. When the truth is, if we're lucky, she'll never see that man again. Those who can't make, up, make it up on the colony stay on ground. Those who can't make it on ground go under. How many of these people? None. There's no safe harbor here. Police clear out the tunnels whenever replicants escape. It's no place for a rich man's wife unless she doesn't mind a bit of blood and dirt. Welcome, Isabel. Please call me the Lung. The skin said you'd be coming. We've little time to tarry. Something about the skin doc itches, like he was ready to play a scene when I arrived. Fair enough, actor, but the itch. Can't let him catch me falling, so I tasked an eye. My cop coin keeps them out of worse trouble. Tech Ashina, you there? I got your fish. All I see is bait. Where's dinner? Sending you, sending you a dress. Fish was there five minutes and left. Take care of me, Tech. Quick catch this time. You earn double. You here with my pom? You here with my pombazos? Uh, it should be pombazos. You here with my pombazos? You get another visitor tonight, Mr. Bellingham? Yeah, the lottery folks, the ones with the big checks. Looks like I can, I can finally retire to the odd, to the Andustine beaches. Just you tonight, detective, and whoever's late with my dinner. One of the reasons I'm not popular with my colleagues is that I don't worship at the altar of Voight and Kampf. Uh, it's probably Kampf. Voight and Kampf. Putting all your faith in a machine, the better to catch machines. Let me get my chamomile and we'll chat. VKs are fine for confirmation, but out in the world, skin jobs rarely stop for questions. This place, a time capsule. All the right details, but not lived in. So what brought you, oh, oh, but not lived in, not right, okay. And it says, so what brought you, oh, okay. Name and inception. Can I finish my tea? You're wondering about my date. I've got 17 months left. 
Hmm. I wanted to stay in the city. I like it here. But I could only stay if I adapted to avoid detection. So I aged up. The surgeon. I was much more than that. The skin is an artist. One of many who see another way. A better way. Why did he visit you tonight? What do you know about Isabel Selwyn? Everything. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, got him. Well, not quite. Action scenes here. A little bit of blood. Ask Alexander Selwyn why he wants his daughter dead. He's gone by the time I'm street side. I could go find the skin now, but he'll be gone too. Human doc sculpting replicants to pass his geriatrics. That's new. Need to tell Captain Wojciak the, ca the case just exploded. But first, a question for my employer. Unbelievable. At least we have suspects now. The lack of any news has been on its own has been its own torture. I just need something that tells me my family is still alive. Maybe a ransom's coming? I'll pay anything. It's my daughter. Ransom's possible. Possible there's more to it. The call to the skin dock was made from your wife's car, Mr. Selwyn. If she made the call, any idea why she'd contact him? No. Isabel would never consort with those types. Itch. I should tell him what the old skin job said. We're escaping both locations, Mr. Selwyn. I'll let you know what, we'll fi what we find. Very good, Detective. Suddenly, I don't feel like keeping Alexander Selwyn informed of everything. Time to change. I can't look like I belong in the clouds anymore, because I don't. I never did. I don't like this, Mommy. Clothes, honey. Warm and dry. Disguises. I want to go home. We will, honey. Soon. A new home. Very far from here. Everything's going to be okay. Not... For you, if not for me. Or my life has been a waste. Isabel, the police found the skin. He didn't give you up. He's gone dark. We need to move you sooner. I'll take you to the bones. She'll get you out of the city. Hopefully you never need to use this. You won't tell me your real names, but you're saving us. You're saving my child. No, we're atoning. We ran your skin doctor through the database. Records only go back three years, then he's a ghost, but a photo match turned up gold. Before he was Dr. Harlan Powell of the Aphrodite Beauty Salon, he was senior bioengineer Richard Slattery of the Tyrell Corporation. Slattery's been dead three years, keeping busy for dead. I'll dive down on Slattery. Let's see. Fucking Tyrell. I shouldn't complain. I get paid to clean up his mistakes, but what does this have to do with Sel... Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, definitely got some good action scenes in this. And this is why. I prefer my wheels on the ground. Damn. Nanny always said the city is like one big body. The freeways are the bones. The streets are the arteries. When you know the city like I do, you know where to cut. You know how it bleeds. You'd be proud of me now, Nanny. I didn't hurt the body too much. This this block's been a ghost for a year. Hopefully no squatters in my wake. I won't be running home if this is how bad somebody wants me to stop looking. Nobody's going to find that little girl. The bones will take you from here, Isabel. The bones. Bones were my specialty. Ceramic lattice grafting. The lung here was an artist at bronchial elasticity. The skin. Nanofilament weaves. We got her. Shot her out of the sky. Who? Your husband hired a blade runner to find you. She found me first. You're not safe in the city. You'll always be prey. You have to go south. Thirty hours later. Secrets out, Ash covered for you as long as I could but the whole department knows now they don't want a cop whose lower half shuts down when her battery runs out not thrilled about being lied to for years either lucky they're paying for any recuperation much less this place I get, I get healed I can do the job been doing it to their satisfaction for years somebody just shot me out of the sky for doing it means I'm close sorry Ash no witnesses no leads they're calling it random 
And it's not just the department wants you gone either. Uh, it's not just the department wants you gone. Alexander Selwyn wants someone else. He's not happy with the progress. You're cut off. I found the car. I found the chauffeur. I got a lead on an ex Tyreller who I followed to a skin job. A skin job who told me Selwyn wants his own daughter dead. Maybe I'm just not making the progress Selwyn wants. Who gets the case now? Not mine to give, Bryant's. Promise me you'll forget about it, Ash. You got your own life to fix. Wojak's right. A fight with the brass is not one I win. I'm useless anyway with a broken wing. Wing I aim with. The hospital gave me gave my back brace its charity charge, but I'm on my own now. Forget Selwyn. Forget his model wife. Forget the little girl lucky if she sees her fifth birthday. Whatever you do, don't follow a trail that's already gotten you close to dead. Where are we going? Just walk already. Tyrell Corporation. My first time in the beast's belly. Welcome to the Tyrell Corporation, Miss Ashina. Miss, uh, Miss Ashina, sorry. How'd you know I was... I'll let Miss Elo know you're here. Nothing strange about that, right? Or this place, or these people. I've got an appointment I didn't make with someone I didn't know. It said, uh, and then it says nothing strange about that. Okay. It's a little, you know, again, a little difficult. Going about their business making better people for profit. We expected you sooner, Miss Ashina. Given Mr. Selwyn's re close relationship with Mr. Tyrell, you're not calling me detective because you already know I lost my badge. Anything you don't know about me? No badge, and yet coming here suggests you are not finished with your work. You're going to report me? No, we wish to hire you. The day I punch the clock for Eldon Tyrell is... The woman you know as Isabel Selwyn is a Nexus 7 replicant given as a gift to Mr. Selwyn by Mr. Tyrell. Yeah, given as a gift to Mr. Selwyn by Mr. Tyrell. Hmm. Hell of a gift. The real Isabel, Mr. Selwyn's beloved wife and mother their daughter Cleo, died of cancer last year. Mr. Tyrell feared that his widowed friend would not survive the grief. Cleo was kept unaware, of course. She believes her mother returned home after a brief illness. Cleo possesses a rare mutation in the Fox-03 gene uh, linked to increased longevity. You think Isabel, skin job Isabel, wants to dissect that little girl to find out how to extend her lifespan. Oh, no, here we go again. Yeah, I just have to read the bottom of these. Uh, we believe the replicant Isabel kidnapped Cleo and intends to exploit that mutation for her own benefit. Okay, now it says... You think Isabel, skin job Isabel, wants to dissect that little girl to find out how to extend her lifespan. Makes some sense, more so since I found one of your ex-employees might be hiring her. Name of Slattery. Mr. Slattery was indeed working on our Nexus program. He was brilliant, but dismissed for unsatisfactory performance. He was not the only one. Mr. Tyrell demands a dedication few possess. Say I say no. Say I don't want to work for the company whose messes I spent my good years cleaning up. Mr. Tyrell's utmost priority for his dear friend's daughter to be found safely. No, okay. Mr. Tyrell's utmost priority is for his daughter's friend. Uh, it, it, bleh. Let me redo that. <clears throat> Mr. Tyrell's utmost priority is for his dear friend's daughter to be found safely and soon. You've made progress, Miss Ashina. Progress we would despair to see wasted by a less tenacious investigator. Beyond a substantial fee, we'll, we will provide you with a permanent solution to your particular health issue. No more usurious lenders supplying the energy your back brace requires. How did you know? No need for a brace at all. Your disability would be an inconvenience of the past. I don't need to be fixed. Sure as hell not by you people. We make lives here. You can choose whatever life you wish. I imagine there are those in your profession who do the work because they enjoy it. A particular sadism rewarded as elsewhere it would be condemned. But you, you act from belief in the righteousness of your mission and the perfidy of ours. We ask that you put that aside now for the Selwyn girl's benefit and your own. Who says when I find the girl that you don't carve out her special gene for yourselves? As I said, perfidy. The spinner is yours. All of our resources are at your disposal. Do we have an agreement, Miss Ashina? Oh, there was another one. It says, believe me when I say that we are not in the business of exploiting children. And then she asks, do we have an agreement? Okay. All right. 
area congested there at the border. We should hide in the back or make a run or something. Plain sight safer here. No trick you can pull on that cartel that they can't sniff, so we don't lie entirely. Papeles de viaje, uh, por favor. Si, senor. Negocios en Tijuana? No, senor. Baja Sud. Poor boss, Phoenix. Boss Phoenix? Tell me, if you know Boss Phoenix, you must know his favorite thing to eat. His favorite thing to eat, C, si, is escamoles con apazote. But only from the ants in dear Tia's backyard. As for that, tell him to save some for his boys at the border. And be in video, uh, sir. Yeah, I'm not that good in Spanish, but I'm, I'm trying here. Los Angeles. Never thought I'd be on the Tyrell Corporation payroll. I tell myself I'm doing it for the girl. It stinks on high that Tyrell would be so concerned for the kid. Best I find her first. Need to catch Bellingham, the, ger the geriatric I tumbled with, so I'm back at the scene. Could be... <clears throat> could be was on his way to Isabel. The old skin job thinks he has an artist's soul. Thinks he has a soul. No badge means I'm locked out of the department channels, so I backdoor in. Listen for anything that might list, that might lead to something more, and I keep low. One flaming nose dies enough for the week. I snoop a call on the feed. Another Blade Runner calling in a catch. An old partner of mine, Layla's. The reason I swore off partners. You're gonna whimper. I'll make sure. Station wants us bringing you in tonight instead of retiring. Questions about a missing kid. Doesn't mean I can't have fun with you first. Once an asshole, Lelis. Ugh! Bellingham, you know him? What? How about Slattery? Ex Tyrell. Goes by Powell now. Surgeon. How about a mom and her kid? Don't know. Any of them. You know how to use that thing, little thing? I had his job until this morning, asshole. If I'm a skin job, been. If I'm a skin job. Ben I where do I run? Oh Ben okay, B and I deed, where do I run? Where's my haven? I'm not telling you a goddamn you got what, couple years left, couple months? You wanna mask them out? You talk I let you. You're not my worry, not anymore. You don't spell, I don't care what the station wants. I retire you for old time's sake. Persuasive. There's a place, don't know the name, south, past the border. A beach. We're here. This is where I leave you. The heart would take you to the island. You're almost home. Welcome to El Santuario, Isabel. You're safe here, among your kind. Road means dealing with the border crossing, so I take the waves. The thing's too fast for the cartel boats to notice. Smart skin jobs heading south. Easier to get scarce in the narco states. Bellingham's beach scene marched a place in Baja. You just stay alive, Cleo. I'll be there soon enough. Los Angeles. Click. What a fall from grace, Mr. Slattery. You were once a rare talent employed by the Tyrell Corporation to create wonders. Now reduced to carving up the desperate. Why did my wife call you on the night she disappeared? Already told your Blade Runner. Ask her. She proved of limited assistance. I grow things. That is my passion. Life, carefully cultivated to feed the living. Any manner of decay, of injury, of threat to life, fills me with dismay. But here we are. I never gave a thought to replicants. Make sure all the way. Okay. They belong to a life I would never lead. Off-world. Brutal without privilege or peace. But now their company is my only haven. I will be in this place for whatever time I have left, but it affords me one last chance to do the only thing that matters anymore. That has ever mattered. To see happiness in my daughter's eyes. Cleo, come now. No! Hi, Cleo. My name's Ashina. It's time to go home. No, detective. Today the butcher goes without. So much for the quick and easy. 
You aren't the butcher, aren't you? are the butcher, aren't you? The Blade Runner who sells off replicant parts for cash? You've made yourself a name. Not a Blade Runner anymore. Just hired to bring Cleo home from the replicant that stole her. I don't care about the parts. Come, Isabel, it's not safe. You all replicants here? All but myself and Cleo. We have no weapons, just whatever sustenance the ocean and earth can provide, just sanctuary. But if you choose violence today, you will fail. Could be, could be. I take out a couple pleasure models before the combat jobs tear my arms off. Consider that there is another way. A clue you haven't found yet. A truth you don't know. The only way to save Cleo. The only way you leave this place. So, last stop in the Underground Railroad? On this continent, at least. Look here. What is this? I took more than my daughter. This is the private correspondence of Eldon Tyrell and my husband, Alexander Selwyn, arranging for custody of Cleo to be granted to the Tyrell Corporation forever, in exchange for me, a Nexus prototype, his wife alive again to be replenished through the years with new models as the old ones fade, a devil's bargain he accepted without delay or regret. Tyrell's people told me about Cleo, her genome, unique, a key to unlocking replicant longevity, longevity through months of experiments that Cleo will not survive, but the science will, and that is all Tyrell wants. Or, you want that science for yourself, for the rest of you here, to cheat death at Cleo's expense. Look around, is this a laboratory? They're here because they want to spend what little time they have left in peace among their own kind. Away from the world that enslaves them. The scientists who left Tyrell? We can never atone for our part in that birth, so we do what we can for them now. And Cleo? What happens after you and the others die and she's left here? There will be others coming for Sanctuary, to hide her until she's old enough to hide herself. Hear that? Multiples incoming! Of course, the rest of your unit? I'm alone. I only came for the girl. Cleo, stay with me. Tyrell! No... The father. Give me my daughter. We're just a humble village of farmers and fishermen. And a blade runner who failed to do her job. Is it true? You swapping your daughter for an infinite wife? A lie. You trust these machines. These broken machines over me? She's three weeks old and on top, and the top of her head smells like heaven's clouds. All of you. Eleven months and she touches my nose and says dog. No need to worry. We're here to take you home. Crack! Go! The boat! Now! Braca, braca, braca. Her first steps are on grass at the botanical gardens. Chock, 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 chock. Cleo, no! She spends 20 minutes talking to the daffodils. Braca, 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 braca. Her favorite socks have watermelons on them. Braca, braca, braca. All these memories I have of her, more than memories, the beats of my heart. The essence of me. You're safe with us. A mother. And none of it real. All of it implanted in my fabricated mind. But real enough to me. Just one way now. And this one. Here to dispatch my kind. No. She came for Cleo. Oh, hold on. No, she didn't come for me. She came for Cleo. Stop. Blam. Blam. She doesn't see it yet. Braca, braca, braca. She doesn't know. Blam, blam. God damn it. Inside her. Go. More coming. I can hold them off. Her heart beating. You can save Cleo. Isabel. Yes, my name. Thank you. Four hours until my spine shuts down. I ditched the Tyrell car for a better one. One too old and ugly to be noticed. Wheels on the ground. Slow down, you'll get sick. I take her to the cops, they won't listen. Any way it plays, she ends up with Tyrell. Unless, your mom wants me to look after you, okay? I just gotta figure out where it's safe. Mommy said there was another place if we could get there. Yeah, where's that? End of book one. That was the entire first volume of twenty of uh, Blade Runner 2019. Pretty good. Uh, you know, a lot of action, good action scenes. Pretty engaging story. I uh, kind of want to know what's going to happen next. They're going in space. Some covers. Get some covers now. That one looks good. 
issue one. It's a good cover. I like the art, different, uh, you know, coloring, really good. It's grayscale, more more of a grayscale. And then there's that one. I'm not really digging the way the eyes look on that. Yeah, it's a little weird on that. This one's nice. I like that one. It's pretty good. I like that. Cool. It's a little uh, gold cover. It's comics exclusive. You got this one. That looks nice. I like that one. <laughs> Bleeding Cool likes this. Okay. Pretty good. Christian Ward. And you have that. Okay. I like that one, of course. Good use of colors in this whole book, I think. Really, yep, I like that one. Yeah, it's a, kind of the same cover they did before, but just a different angle. This one's pretty decent. I like that one. It's a good one. And of course, you had like another continuation. It's not, it looks like you could put them all together and make a, an image. Um, yep, that one's okay. Cover development. Okay. Yes, that's all right. Some some uh, samples, samples here. All right. Character designs. Yeah. It's a very masculine form, but it it, it works with her character though. Selwyn, Isabel, Cleo, and Wojcik. Okay. Yep. Skin along the bone and the heart. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. That's when they put it in color. Really good. You see how it was made. Yep. Off world coming soon. Creator bios. So, he's a film and television writer. Blade Runner 2049. Okay. Uh, Logan. Oh, I didn't know he wrote Logan. That's a good one. American Gods didn't really care for that second season. Murder on the Orient Express was really good. Oh, oh no, I don't think I've seen the Murder on the Orient Express. That's the one I think is coming. Uh, Hercule Poirot. I think that one. You're definitely going to look at that. Uh, Mike Johnson. It's done. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Pretty, you know, classic stuff. He's done uh, a lot of Joker's Asylum, a lot of, you know, Justice League Dark stuff. Ninja, Captain America. Okay. Brazil, Assassin's Creed, Doctor Who, Robotech. All right. He likes uh, anime and classic Disney. Eisner, Letterer. He likes the... Uh... Oh, he did the Robotech books. Firefly series. Uh, Nottinghamshire in UK. Unfeasibly large collection of black clothes. Hmm. Okay. It's nice. And of course, there's there's more volumes. Um, this was the only one featured in the current Humble Bundle. But, hey, there's more. So, if you guys like this, you can pick up the rest. Off-world, home again, home again. Um... And we're going to go through, now I don't have the volumes, but I have the first two issues of Origins and I have uh, the, I believe it's uh, 2029, I have that one. So we're going to go ahead and look at those right now, just, just the first issue. If you guys like them, you can buy them right now. Get a little box set too, look at that. You get cards, all that kind of stuff, that's pretty cool if you want to own the collection. The whole series is done, so if you like this, you can read it all. There you go. We're gonna we're go, we're not gonna be reading that one, but we'll be reading the first one right there. And there you go. There's your origins. Ten years before 2019. Okay. Let's see what we've got next.
All right, Blade Runner 2029. This is just the first issue, folks. Don't, you know, just issue one. So here we go, Blade Runner 2029. Mm-hmm. Yep, January 2021. Early in the 21st century, the Tyrell Corporation advanced robot evolution into the Nexus phase, being virtually identical to a human known as a replicant. Replicants were used off-world as slave labor in the hazardous exploration and colonization of other planets. Replicants who escaped and returned to Earth were hunted by special police squads, Blade Runner units, with orders to kill any trespassing replicant upon detection. In 2022, radical elements within the replicant underground detonated an EMP device over Los Angeles, destroying Tyrell Corporation's Nexus databases, making it easier for escaped replicants to resettle on Earth. Soon all replicants are banned and the Tyrell Corporation declares bankruptcy. In 2027... Ash Ashina, former Blade Runner, rejoined the department to hunt down fugitive replicants. Her superiors are unaware that her loyalties are divided. Oh, so this is her further adventures. Okay. Twelve years ago, back in 2017, my friend said you could help me. Said you were the most reliable. I brought what you asked for. To the penny. I never had a doubt. And the extra flattery is unnecessary, but appreciated. Now let's get you out of this old rag and into something befitting a fresh start. I'll be back in a minute. Thank you. Click. Heard you were a big one, Yotun. So I brought a big one. I didn't think there were, these were much of a disguise. How did you find me? I know people, like Mr. Malcolm here. That's how it works, right? He offers his services to skin jobs looking to disappear. He calls you. Sure enough, skin jobs disappear. And people say we're the ones that can't be trusted. It's cleaner this way. No public violence, no innocence hurt. Innocence. Blam! Scrash! Cleaner. Snap! Crash! Damn it. Crack! I'm not going to kill you. I want you to go back and tell them that you failed. Tell them that a replicant beat you. That he showed you mercy. I'm leaving now to live freely. You will never find me again. Twelve years later, 2029. This is one of my smaller bedrooms, but I like the view. Look at you. The broker wasn't lying when he said he had the best product. Don't worry. I know my way around skin jobs. Now let's get you comfortable. Not yet. Oh, you didn't tell me you snuck a friend in here. Not that I'm complaining. I'm not her friend. What is this? Who the hell are you? Been watching you. I know what you do to the replicants you buy. Look, I've never done this before, I swear. I visited your broker earlier tonight. You're the last loose end. Foop! Ugh! Is he? Did you? No. The law hasn't evolved enough for that. Tonight is the last time anyone buys you. Y y you're going to kill me now. No, you're coming with me. But you're a Blade Runner. Yes. You kill replicants, the ones that deserve it. Not you. My bosses don't need to know how you disappear, just as long as you do. Welcome to your afterlife. It's the shock in their voice that always gets me, when they realize they're free. Like they just learned heaven is real. I like that they leave with hope, not just for where they're going, but for the place they'll never see again. It comes and goes, but it's getting worse, Frasia. Knives through my spine. Brace takes longer to activate, too. Might be time for a new one. Or none at all. Are you willing, Ash? Means I finally throw the badge away. No more hunting. No more saving them, either. At least not the way you're saving them now. I told the brass my back was fixed for good. Only a matter of time before they knew otherwise. That'll make my decision for me. I'll find other ways to help the underground, logistics codes, but what you do now, only you can do. That means the rest of us have an ally inside. Keep doing it, and I'll get you fixed. You do. Ashina, a minute. On my way to the Kastayat case, Sergeant, I need you on something new, something important. Seawall, what about it? Anonymous tip. Says there's a skin job working the construction. You know how these contractors are, heavy labor, and cheap is preferred. 
Found a few runaways on sites over the years, sure. Me. I mean, why me for this? High-profile public works project built by replicant hands? Nobody needs that news. Close it out quietly. Toxicity is up at orange today, so if you have to go out, make sure you take your shielding. Hell. Tech said the new coating keeps the spinner safe. Don't want to be in it when they're wrong. Seawall. Don't know why they bother. I was off-world when the tsunami hit in 25. Way the weather's going. No wall would be big enough next time. Working in the toxic rain, clock never stops. If the foreman here is hiring replicants, he's not going to like being asked about it. Suddenly, I don't need to. Hello there. Must have been here for a while. Got sloppy. No helmet. His kind can bear the rain. Hey there, can you help me with... Clang! Stop! I stand out like... It's stupid. I stand out like neon here. Should have let the foreman bring him to me. Have to do it the hard way. They say the rain's only really bad if you drink it. Climb sets my spine on fire. I'll take it out on this one. Setting me up for an ambush or something worse. Stay there. I just want to talk. Yolton redeems. Ouch. He mortal combated himself. Yolton a faint bell rings. I run the name through the files. Nothing recent. Not since the blackout. So I go analog. Takes all night. But I find him again. And there is your box set for the other Blade Runner ones. Cover gallery. See, I like this color. Uh, this, this color. I like this cover a lot. Uh, very classic anime look. Peach Momoko. I like that. Sid Mead, and okay, that one pretty good. Well, I like that one, very cyberpunk looking. Oh, that's a cosplay one, I think. That one's okay, but I like the uh, the the first one better. And then you have the CGV exclusive. That one looks really cool. Next issue, Ash visits an underground replicant nightclub in search of answers, but finds something far more sinister. Oh, I like this cover, too. Really cool cover. Again, that's Peach Momoko. Good stuff. There's the Blade Runner Origins, which we'll read the first issue of that, and then after that, we'll be done with this video. Yep. Of course, they're on Volume 2, so they're pretty far ahead. December 2021, so you still got a little bit to wait for that. Now, a lot of people say, oh, it's kind of woke because she's like a lesbian, but, I mean, I don't really care. It didn't seem like it was too big of the deal. And, again, they're not making it, oh, she's a lesbian. It's like, oh, she just happens to be, like, that way. Like, I mean, it's not even a big, it's, it's, uh, it's a few minutes scene. It literally is maybe just a minute of that. To kind of show, okay, yeah, she's she's partners with this woman. But for the most of the story, we're getting a good, hard-boiled detective novel or a detective comic. Uh, it, it feels good. It feels like Blade Runner. So I'm not even really that fucked up about it. It's not like she's like, oh, look how gay I am. She's like, okay, just happens to have... Okay, see, see that shit doesn't even bother me. Um, like, I know that, you know, gay people, LGBT people exist... But it's not just, oh, look, we made this person gay. It's like it's not even a, a, a an established character. This is a character that they created for the series. So, you know, it's not a big deal. Like, I'm, I'm not going to not gonna fucking go crazy over that. It's not, not that big of a deal. It, you know, it literally happened for one fucking page. A worthy new Blade Runner. Okay, well, yeah, I'm not going to read all that. Okay. Suggested for mature readers. Okay, well, I mean, that's good. At least we know that they didn't uh, make this for kids. Oh, cool. Yep, cosplay. Doesn't say who the... Alright. Okay, Blade Runner Origins. Here we go. Oh, well, no, I guess we're not on that one yet. We will be. But, of course, you have Volume 1, and, you know, those are out. 
Oh, no, we are in Blade Runner Origins. Okay. Mel Brown, Mike Johnson. Okay. Okay. Early in the 21st century, the Tyrell Corporation advanced robot evolution into the Nexus phase and being virtually identical to human known as the Replicant. Superior in strength and agility, the Replicants were created to be used as off-world slave labor in the hazardous high collateral combat situations or colonization of other planets. Replicants who escaped and returned to Earth were hunted by special police squads, Blade Runner units, with orders to kill any trespassing replicant upon detection. This is the story of the first Blade Runner, Los Angeles, 2009. The Siege of Calanthia, 2007. They say you'd want to fight any obstacle with your last breath once you discover what life really is. I, but I guess I'm going to have to settle for you, Avery. When I met you, I knew we'd go down like this. Uh, with the body count you racked up, there should only be one more wave of these assholes. Well, what are we sitting around for? Listen, before my suit goes, these uppity pricks are going to flank us. I need you to clear the South Hall. They left that for us. If all else fails, I think it's time to break the glass. Isn't that a... Is that a bomb? Uh, I'm going to crack that thing open and find out. Now clear the South Hall, Lieutenant. I'm coming back once I've cleared it. Don't hog all the fun, Captain, and say thanks to Tyrell for me. His ah ah brap brap brap. His his. Oh man, you're welcome. Los Angeles, two thousand nine. Gentlemen, the time wastes away night and day, and steals from us in part imperceptibly when sleeping. She's going to come around, Dante. How'd you know I, I was here? And I'm sure your sister will come around. No, your wife will come around. You must have slept in your car. You're wearing the same clothes from yesterday. Never one to miss the details, are you? And you're right. Nia's in there, Dante. I know it. Hey, I hate to do this, man, but the admin is... I know. I'll settle up on the way out. In the valley, mild at the coast, air index is at 8 today, so keep those masks handy. Brought to you by Heidecker Vostro, the pioneer in pioneering. Their newest mining operation opens. Oh, that's pretty cool. like the coloring there. Tenement fire on Serrano Avenue, still unsolved. 57 fatalities confirmed as of. Okay, more. Oh, nice coloring. Yeah, look at that. It's really, yep. Good art on this one. Taiwanese taking over everything east of Whittier can't even. Detective Moreau, got a fresh batch of cases that have gone cold for you. Your specialty. Have fun. Moreau, if you'd be so kind. If this is about Boyle Heights, that's... Sit down. What do you know about the Tyrell Corporation? They make machines. They think they're helping us. One of their engineers killed herself last night on company grounds. Open and shut. I need it written up. Discretion requested by the company. They need a cleaner. And you need someone who's the right kind of expendable. I need someone who can handle a mess. Now there are two things to keep in mind about Tyrell Corp. One, they don't lack for cash. That means they have the ear of the people who hire and fire you and me. They're building a new HQ south of downtown. And two, nobody not employed by Tyrell has ever seen the inside. But death opens doors. No one's entered the laboratory since she was found. What about the medical examiner? Dr. Chen has been notified. He's on his way. Who found her? I did. I'm Lydia, Dr. Kine's assistant. I'm Effia Koropi. Koropi. Yeah. You've been in here all morning. It doesn't seem right leaving her alone. It looks like you both ran a tight operation together. So who else had access to this room at night? I'll be the one answering your questions, Detective Moreau. Laura, Laura Stahl. Miss Tyrell personally requested that I offer you whatever assistance you require. Effie, why don't you take a break? I'll answer the detective's questions for now. I'd like to start with Miss Kropi if it's... She's had a traumatic morning, Detective. Best if you speak with me first. Whatever assistance I require, eh? Our vast resources are always available for those who assist us. But most of the questions about Miss Kine and her state of mind have already been filed have already been answered in the files sent to your department. Seeing this scene firsthand is standard, regardless of discretion. Of course I can appreciate someone of your efficiency, even if it is to your detriment. Excuse me? 
I've always had admiration for the role of an LAPD detective, despite how much more effective their skills would be with a private company. I'm not here to inquire about privatization, Miss Stahl. I already have a job that needs to be done. Thank you, and swiftly, please, for Lydia's sake. This is a horrific scene. Sure, for her sake. Excuse me, have a light for me? I don't smoke. Clap, clap. Clap, clap. Looking for some company? This one's not worth it, sugar. Can't let the poor girl go on thinking you have time for, or money. Thanks for looking out. You'd be a catch if you let yourself be caught. They would throw me back if they knew what they caught. Something's wrong, is it, Nia? No, she's the same. Hold on, it says, something's wrong, is it, Nia? No, she's the same. Then you're leaving me for a younger queen? <laughs> Sarge put me on a case, career ender, at Tyrell. No shit? And they want me in their pocket. Stop. I need to say this as your friend or I won't goddamn sleep. I know you, Cal. I know the scratches are gonna itch. Resist the urge, sugar, because what'll happen to you, sister, if you don't? Detective Cal Moreau? Who's asking? My name's Marcus. Lydia Kine's brother. They told me Lydia killed herself. Sorry for your loss. She wouldn't. Her faith wouldn't allow it. She wanted to foster life and not take it. Trust me, I know how you feel, but it's clear we both had a few tonight. It's that place, what she said they do there, what they want. Why don't I reach out to you in the morning and... They know I know. They've been watching me. I'm being followed. You are. Hey! Get out of the... Get inside, now! See? I knew it. Shut up and get down. What was that? I said, Detective, it's Effie. Something else happened the night Lydia died. The prototype for the next replicate model, the Nexus 5. It escaped. To be continued. Yeah, it's not too bad again. It is a hard-boiled detective story. Not too bad at all. It feels like a Blade Runner story. Definitely. All right. Got another one here. I like that. Like the like the main character. Blank sketch. I don't know about that one. That seems like a waste. Art germ. Yeah, that's nice. I got Peach and Momoko, but it, it looks weird. And then he did like an anime. I don't know. I, I like the original. This one I'm not really digging. Uh, Robert Hack, it's all right. I like the Art Germ cover, though. That's probably my favorite cover for this. Oh, this one's good, too. The, the Raymond Gay Collector's Choice Exclusive is a nice one. This is good. The Slab City Exclusive is really good, also. It's a good cover. Got another one. It says, uh, Cal and Marcus are separated by forces working behind the scenes to control the fallout of Lydia's suicide. Issue 2 on sale, March 2021. Alright, and there's your 2019 box set, again. 2029, talked about that. And Origins. Oh, these are just the covers. Different covers, and it's cool. to give you all these, these nice covers, full, you know. Uh... Alright, that's going to be all for the Grimlord's Comic Corner tonight. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed these Blade Runner books. And again, you can pick them up. Uh, there's the uh, physical versions and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I, I liked what I read. You know, wasn't too bad. Um, I mean, a little bit of diversity for diversity's sake. But doesn't change the characters any. Doesn't really change the characters. I'm not seeing anything that's just... I mean, and it actually, you know, kind of fits the whole idea of what they were doing with Blade Runner in the first place. How everybody's just kind of mixed and all that kind of stuff. But, um... I'm... I'm, I'm kind of happy with it. I'd like to read more. Uh, fortunately, that's all they gave me in, in the humble uh, bundle that Titan did. So, I mean, maybe they'll release some more later. They're, they're good, though. I'd like to... 
I'd, uh, I'd like to get more of them. And apparently, um, I think you support like comics for kids, even though the kids are definitely reading a lot more mangas now. Um, there you go. All right, so this will be the Grim Lord, and I am out.